Hi, good evening. This is Christina. I'm the host here at Yarn Mountain. And this evening we're going to walk you through the pages of Knitter's Magazine. Um, so all of you online, welcome. Um, we've got some folks that may come in and out of the shop. It is our regularly scheduled knit night. And um, this is always a popular trunk show. Uh, this particular issue is um, the spring issue, K106, that focuses on special effects in your knitting. So we know that uh, everybody kind of has their certain techniques or, or some way of spicing up their knitting that's just their own. Um, and we know that knitting is personal. So uh, you'll see some things here, some techniques, slip stitches, different ideas, coloring, painting in your work um, that you may not have seen before. And we'll walk you through each piece separately. Uh, just a couple of quick notes. Those of you on the Hangout, we will be um, available after the Hangout if you uh, jot down your ideas and pieces that you like. Um, we can take note of those and help you pick out your project selections and you will be emailed a, or sent a, a very secret uh, discount code <laughs> that you can use um, towards those kits and we'll be offering 10% off any of your trunk show projects that you get started with tonight. Um, additionally, a couple of housekeeping notes if you haven't already. Um, just to minimize feedback, please take a second and mute your microphones or, or wear headphones. I've got a pair on too. Um, that helps me to hear what you're asking the questions. There is a bit of a delay. Um, so we just ask that you pause after asking a question so that we can hear your full question and then get, give you your answer back. So very quickly, or not so quickly maybe, I'll run through these garments and uh, stop me where needed. I will give you a chance to ans ask questions after each piece. Um, so we're going to start here with a piece. Um, this is called Mosaic Knitting. And these were taken for Barbara Walters' pin box patterns. This particular one was designed by Kanita Tully. And once the knitting is complete here, um, we're going to prep the shell and color in some painted pieces. And I'll talk to you a little bit how to do that. Mosaic knits can be worked in a stockinette, a simple stick, stockinette stitch like this with two different contrasting colors. That's sort of how they're best shown is if you've got just a solid contrast. Um, the painting piece is done after the knitting is completed. The knitter um, can take a just a simple stencil made out of paper and some all-purpose craft paint and you know paint it as your creativity suggests. Um, let the ink dry, uh, take off the stencil or you can color it a couple of times to get a deeper color hue to fit your needs. So this is a very simple way to dress up um, a piece that maybe is just two color tone and all of a sudden it's got your special touch. So that's the um, painted pin box in this issue. The second piece in the same style of garment um, uh, is the textured pin box. What's different about this piece, it's knit in, that one was a DK sport weight yarn. This one's knit in a fingering weight yarn. It's a bit lighter. Um, and it has a textured stitch, which is maybe hard to see. Move a little bit closer to the camera for you. Um, the texture here is created with a garter stitch mixed in with the mosaics, in addition to the simple stockinette. This one would work well under a jacket or in a war as a warm weather knitted piece. And this one is designed by the knitter's design team. So does anybody have any questions here about this piece? Okay, the next step up, we're going to move a little bit. This is called a sidewinder. This is a fun garment. A bit heavier weight. This is knit in a um, medium worsted weight yarn. So I'll read you the description here on this. Now, I did not memorize each of these, so bear with me. Uh, the simple two by two cables transform a knit one below sweater into a fluid and dynamic garment. Stack the cables vertically or allow them to travel across the sweater. Thanks to the two tone background, there's no need for purl stitches to flank these cables. So the cables are actually riding right along top of the other stitches without any real definition. There's a beautiful glitter yarn used in the um, shoulder seams on this piece. You can see those there. Simple garter stitch at the shoulders, moving into a stockinette with the cable work. Looking at the yarn on this one, it looks like there's a merino wool with alternating colors shown in it doesn't say the fiber. 
but it looks like it's using two different tones, two different tones in the merino, and then another tone to offset the colors. And that would most likely be this piece along here. So that is called Sidewinder. So make a note of Sidewinder if that's the one that interests you. It looks like it is a three season wear. Not super heavy for the coldest months, but it, it would wear well in spring or fall. The next couple of pieces are fun. A couple of socks. Um, I'm going to show you this first pair. Let me know if you have trouble seeing them up close. This is called Star Treatment. Uh, this um, is a play off of the hexagon sock that's found in Think Outside of the Socks. I'm not showing me. This one is made with triangles that are inserted between the hexagons. Now, while this may look a little daunting, if you follow the diagram, very soon your feet will be getting the star treatment they deserve. Um, so knit with a sim I don't know if we can focus in maybe on that hexagon there. Is everybody seeing that? It grows out from there. Excellent. Okay, very good. See, I'm staring at the screen off to the side. So um, forgive me if I don't look directly at you every now and then. So that's the first pair of socks. Um, that's very unique in this issue. Let me flip a couple pages here. Oh, this one's great. This is called Square Feet. And these are mitered rectangles that wrap, let me see here, mitered rectangles that wrap the leg and travel over the foot in these three, in these colorful socks. The slow shading yarn offers both elegant color changes with lots of graphic interest. So for those of you that enjoy knitting with mitered squares, this is, um, just a lovely entrelac pattern. Um, let me take that off the model for you a little bit. Everybody get a good view there? Very good. So do we have any questions at this point about the socks? Everybody's good? Okay, so those are called the two sock patterns were called Star Treatment and Square Feet. And Star Treatment is designed by, give credit where credit is due here. Kristen Hall and Square Feet designed by Sandy Rosner. We're going to move into some technique changes on the surface of these garments. Um, this particular sweater coming up next is called Diamond Plate. And the floats in this fabric are reminiscent of diamond plate texture on metal floors. The Oliver pattern works perfectly in a mock turtleneck with three quarter length sleeves. So if you can see that up close, this is designed by Melissa Liebman. And knit in a medium worsted weight yarn. Get a good view of that. Beautiful texture in this. You could use a, a, a very a solid color yarn. This one has a tone to it. Um, make that work nice. And this would work well spring, um, fall, or even winter in an office. The short sleeves are a little bit shorter, being three quarter length, with simple ribbing on the ends and a simple ribble ribbing on the mock turtleneck. Very good. The next piece is rather fun. I'll switch these around for you. Oops. This is called zip line. Very, very fun pattern. The texture, color, and silhouette all come together in this luxurious little v-neck vest. Um, this is designed by Deborah Newton. And the stitch pattern places floats on the face of the fabric for added color play. The shawl collar with the ribs back and the asymmetrical vents offer a modern and playful shape. And I'll show you those vents here on the side. Able to see those? Okay, very good. And this particular yarn has a bit of sparkle, which makes fun. Um, makes for a fun knit. Uh, I will see. This is a, a medium weight yarn. The color is carried loosely across the side edges when it's not in use, so it's an easy color change switch. This is marked in an intermediate pattern. And it is made in four shades of yarn, so four different colors make up that piece. Very, very pretty. Next up is cross line with fell.
and another hook for you. This piece has a very interesting basket weave pattern on the front and a mohair line across it. I'll read you the description. Um, the mohair accents in this tweed vest create a grid over the checkerboard of texture. Fair aisle floats surface as horizontal accents at each block change, while the vertical lines are woven into the fabric after the piece is knit. Hidden pockets make it very, very practical. So let me show you what this means. The basket weave pattern, think, can we get a focus? There we go. Um, if you see the basket weave, I've got a purl stitch here, a knit stitch stuck in it here. So you're creating a basket weave, and then you follow it over the surface with the mohair kid silk. Um, so this uses primarily a sport weight yarn, or a DK weight yarn, with just a fine weight accent in mohair. This particular vest is a tweed fabric, which lends nicely to the, the checkerboard pattern, with the three little buttons up top. The hidden pockets here is what it's referring to. Right down here underneath, these do have a flap behind them, so they are practical and usable. And then the back of the garment, very, very simple. Very nice, very nice piece. And this one is designed by Sarah Lucas. That is more of an experienced knit, so, or maybe a very ex enthusiastic beginner. Um, Yep, not for the faint of heart, I think is what I'm reading in there. The next section of the magazine is called In Contrast. Um, we're going to bring up, this piece reminds me of Snow White a little bit. Um, with prom season just around the corner, I think it's going on now, um, don't forget to offer a little knitted warmth. A lace pattern in a classic yarn mixes with a boucle for a wrap with options. A simple cape or a stole with the addition of lace wings. Um, this particular piece was designed by Deborah Newton. And it's knit in a super bulky weight boucle and a worsted weight um, superwash merino. So I can show you this up front. It just clips with those little simple clasps. Here's our clasp. Um, the back of it's just straight across. Very simple, very elegant, but definitely a piece with warmth. So this would work great on any cool summer evening. you wear there. Um, do we have any questions so far? Excellent. Our next piece is a very bright, fun summer knit. Uh, Cardigan, uh, waves of blue border this bright cardigan for graphic impact, indeed. <laughs> the high contrast and single button closure make it a modern yet elegant, and this is designed by Kathy Zimmerman. So let's take a look at this here. We've got a simple garter stitch border around it. Um, a texture that looks like a twist stitch in here without reading through the pattern. And this is knit with a fine weight yarn, so this is calling for a sport weight. So we've got a great texture knit here with some chevrons on the edging, a simple button closure that looks like a beautiful jewel button. Um, I like the bottom. It's reminiscent of maybe an afghan edging or border, and it's just beautiful. It's got a little rib in here, some diamond shaping. The back is very, very simple. I can see this hitting the seaside. Nice little addition of warmth in the spring and the summer. And this one again is called Wasabi Ripple and it's designed by Kathy Zimmerman. Okay. I can get my lovely assistant back here to pass me this manly knit back here. I'm going to show you Cory Don. Cory Don is knit is knit with a uh, merino, worst weight merino. And this is a, our, our only guy in the, in the collection tonight. I'm going to hang him back here. It's a simple, oh, it's a really simple one. It's a pullover sweater and sort of a basket weave technique. I don't know the name of that exactly. Um, there's an overlaying drawstring collar. It takes this raglan, raglan sleeve knit. It's just simple sleeves um, beyond ordinary. With a crisp stitch, crisp stitch work. 
and bold colors. It's the perfect guy knit. And this seems to me something you could throw on around the campfire or even going out in the town for an evening. It's a simple rib border with two-tone color around the edging that really makes for a nice touch. And the contrasting color in the drawstring. Very, very nice knit. And this one is designed by Kyle Kunick. And it is um, marked as an intermediate, intermediate knit. Any questions on this one? Pass that one down. The next section of the book, or the magazine, focuses on just more refreshing pieces. It is spring. Everybody is ready for a break here. Oops, I didn't miss one here. Go on back. This is called the Corded Henley, and this is designed by Cerise Shinoweth. And mock I-cord dashes through here, interrupt the stockinette fabric in this stunning knit. And it is stunning. Um, constructed from cuff to yoke to cuff, this torso is worked afterwards. The bold colors provide a fun way to make a simple silhouette exciting and fresh. I have to agree with this. This is knit in a medium weight worsted yarn, uh, two different colors, and it's marked as an intermediate pattern. So let's take a look at this cord, this eye cord up close. Um, this is just striking around the waist. In the back of the, the garment, indeed, how flattering is that? So you've got simple stockinette going down the back, interrupted by the eye cords. Put that in there. Um, and this is just dramatic and very, very flattering and gives you the right emphasis in the right places. Um, four little button closures up front uh, make it easy to slip on and off. And this is a great casual piece. Um, and it's also a little bit dressy with the right colors. Um, so this, I think, would work great in three seasons and maybe a little warm in the hottest months, but it'll work very well in spring and fall. Now we move into a little bit more summery looks. Sorry. We can take a break for questions if anybody has any. Okay, this particular piece is called Aqua Diamonds. This is designed, sorry, designed by Merrick Sarnet. And diamonds flow from the hem through the torso, then into stockinette at the yoke for a shaped top created with very little effort. The wrap nubs are strategically placed for interest within the pattern, the side borders, and along the shoulder and neckline. Very simple, but very stunning. And this is knit in a worsted weight yarn. It's marked intermediate. It has a very simple construction, front and back with side and shoulder seam. So there's no sleeve work on this one. Very nice. Look at that lace. Isn't that pretty? And again, as I mentioned at the beginning of our broadcast, we do have copies of K106 Knitters Magazine um, on our website, yarnmountain.com. And you can find this magazine there. And any project that you choose as part of this hangout tonight, you receive 10% off the project kit. We have a special discount code for you to use um, if you've signed into our hangout tonight. And we'll send that to you afterwards, and we're, we'll be available to work with you. So I'll continue to go through these pieces. Um, oh, this is so pretty. I love the beadwork and the knits this year. Um, Cool Fountain is the name of this piece, and it's designed by Catherine Hunt. And the lace yoke flows organically from the sculpted columns into the body of this elegant shell. Bead accents add a bit of sparkle. Can you see the beads? Let me take a second to focus on those. You can see that beautiful, beautiful lace work falling down these columns. Create a stunning silhouette on any figure. A, a, a simple garter stitch hem around the neck, the cuff, and a simple sleeve. So you're really only seaming at the sides and the shoulders on this. Uh, it is marked intermediate. But what a, what a beautiful, beautiful piece. Next up, um, I love the tweed knits, and this one just makes great use of a tweeded 
simple, lightweight tweeted cotton yarn. Um, this is called Honeysuckle. And Honeysuckle was designed by E.J. Slayton. It says, all over texture makes this cardigan feminine without being boring. I have to agree. There's so much going on in this piece texture-wise. At the top, around the simple garter stitch collar is a pico edging. Here, see that? I'll show you that. And, uh, and uh, again, it uh, trails along the buttonholes here. So it's open at the bottom with just five tiger buttons. Along the top, you have um, a little bit of garter stitch in there. And then this beautiful textured diamond design going down the front with some lace work. And let me show you these pieces up front. So here we've got, I'm going to take a second to focus, the pico edging around the collar. And this travels again down the button placard. Garter stitch at the top. And then just this beautiful diamond work along the front. OK, then again on the back, a repeat of the garter stitch along the top, flowing into this diamond work all the way down the back. This piece is just beautiful, just beautiful. And you could certainly change the look of it um, by choosing another yarn. This one calls for a wor medium worsted weight yarn. Really in just one color. Do that work. I think the tweed adds a nice touch with that contrast. So, any questions at this point? Excellent. Okay. Moving right along. Oh, beautiful piece. Let me grab this. Bring it up front for you. Um, this is called Linen Breeze. Isn't it beautiful? The mix of linen and cotton in a sh a chainette yarn makes this a light tunic with attitude. We like that. We work a larger gauge at the extended hemline and sleeves for added drape. The colors flow across this garment with very quiet beauty. And this is designed by Willaheen Pierce. Again, it's called Linen Breeze. And this takes advantage of a sport weight linen yarn. Let me just show you some of the features on this piece. It is just beautiful. It's a simple boat neck collar, short sleeves, so there is a little bit of sleeve work there, nothing too daunting. So we've got a shoulder seam, and we've got side seams on this one. But here's what makes this piece really unique. It's this beautiful side hem with a slit, the drape down, so you've got a curve around the waist. Very, very flattering, this piece. The back is very simple. It's knit and stockinette all the way down. So the hem is picked up. Absolutely beautiful. So that would be a go-to summer piece. And the last garment I have to show you, not the end of our fun, but this is called Ash Gray. And Ash Gray is a tunic length cardigan, open cardigan. This is designed by Julie Farmer. It is knit in a medium weight worsted yarn. This was knit in a bamboo, which gave it a nice, nice um, drape, a little lighter weight than a pure wool yarn. So um, what's unique about this piece is the placard of lace work down the front on either side. It's got a simple garter stitch neckline and border with stockinette panels. There is no sleeve in this other than finishing off the garter stitch cuff. There is the shoulder seam and a side seam. There's a beautiful split on the side, too. So let me show you some of these details a little closer. Uh, here's the garter stitch hem on the top. Beautiful, beautiful lace panel here. Let's get this lace panel. So the back of it is even more stunning. And you could play with colors in this piece and it just add your own unique style. But look at that back lace panel. Isn't that gorgeous? And so very, very flattering as it flares around the hip with a split on the hem. So that's the end of our garment for this segment. Um, I do have a couple more pieces that are so, so very fun. Um, I don't have an assistant here. so. Bear with me as I show you these, but these are great. These are called cake covers, and these are designed by Lisa Johnson. And they are knit out of 
sock yarn or pick out your favorite color of yarn for your own unique look. And they will hold a simple cake of yarn as it's spun off of, or as it's wound off of the, the ball winder. Um, fit it right in here so that it doesn't come loose. Uh, this is great for me who's always throwing my yarn in a bag and carrying it with me. Um, and then you can just work your yarn right out of these bags. And I've got three different examples of these here. They have a great little drawstring at the top. There's probably a description I should read you. This says the lux. Whoops, wrong one. Not that luxurious. Most yarn winders create balls that look like discs or cakes. Place one into a hand knit container made from one ball of sock yarn to protect and tame it while in use. Those wily balls of yarn. A quick way to try a new stitch pattern while making something very fun and very practical. So you could use. Scrap sack yarn, you could pick out your, you know, your own style, as I mentioned. But great little drawstring at the top for those. And then it just holds your yarn inside. Appear to be color coordinated. Excellent. Very cool little project. Um, next up is probably my favorite in the whole bunch. These are called, very fun, martini knits. So these are knit with um, a fingery weight sock yarn. And just fun red buttons across these fingerless mitts. There's no thumb in there, just a little bit of a gusset around your thumb. Uh, simple cable work around here to make a place for each button to sit. And I'll show you that real closely. We focus there. There's a little, um, just a little cable knit in there. Okay. So shake it up with these adorable knits. Button accents are worked into the cable pattern at both cuff and knuckle. Clever, practical, and unique. This pair will stir up compliments each time you wear them. So again, this is knit with a, just a fingering weight, hand-painted yarn. And you could make these with your own style, your own flair, your own buttons. Okay. And we saved this piece for last. Um, this is called Ten Polished Piggies. So take these to the pedicurist. Flip them on prior to getting your nails polished, and you'll be warm and snuggly all the way home. These are designed by Corolla Wright. Um, so if you look, these are a simple stockinette sock with a with a looks like a two by two rib around the top, in a contrasting color, um, knit top down, your heel. But look at the toes in that same contrasting color. You get ten little, well, <laughs> five on each one, but ten little piggies. There you go, aren't those great? And I didn't make mention, but these beautiful martini knits were, were designed by Paula Levi. So if you have any further questions, we will be available after this hangout. Um, contact us right on our, our Plush Yarn Mountain page on Google Plus. So we thank you all for attending, and we wish you a good night. <laughs>